Argentina Secretary for Human Rights has described the finding of the 119th missing grandson by the grandmothers of Plaza de Mayo as a victory for the policy of truth and justice carried out by the government of Cristina Fernandez. From Buenos Aires now, our correspondent Laureano Ponce with more on that good news story. In a press conference held on their headquarters on Tuesday, Argentine human rights organization Grandmothers of Plaza de Mayo announced they have identified the 119th missing grandchild. He is Mario Bravo, a field worker who was born under custody in 1977 during Argentina's last dictatorship. I feel happy. I feel free. I feel freedom and euphoria. And you want others to feel the same way. I feel like I want to go out and tell people, you can do this, you can feel this too. Unlike most grandchildren who have recovered their identity, Mario Bravo's mother is still alive and was able to meet him before the press conference. Having been able to find another grandchild and that his mother was still alive, and he is so pure, so sincere, that makes us feel sure about what we do, and that we are doing the right thing. Since the ruling front for victory came to power in 2003, the grandmothers have always worked together with the Argentine state. Whether they will be able to continue such work under a new right-wing government remains an open question. The achievements we have made as a people are not going to be taken back as long as the people defend them, as long as we are capable of understanding that the things that previous governments have done right need to be state policies, and that state policies should not be perishable through history. Despite the change in the political orientation of the future government, the grandmothers will continue to find strong support by the Argentine people to keep their struggle. Laureano Ponce, Telesur, Buenos Aires.